So from my previous video, I got some complaints that I was blowing some speakers out and damaging the ears of people using headphones. So I'm not using an actual microphone. This is just the Roku remote, but I still like the feeling of having a microphone in my hand. So today I wanna to talk about the best announcement by far from the September event. And it was something I was expecting as well. And it's the redesigned iPad mini. And if you guys are wondering why I'm always looking down, it's because my MacBook is literally just mirroring what's on the screen. So I have no idea why Apple was neglecting the iPad mini for so long when in my opinion, it's one of the best form factor iPads next to the 11 inch iPad Pro. So long story short, it's basically just a smaller iPad Air with a better processor. So hopefully you enjoy this video. I appreciate every sub, like, and comment. Just kidding. So let's talk about some of the changes here. And I'm gonna play this video so you can see the iPad mini a little bit up close. So we have a more full screen display. We're getting rid of that notch design that we have with the Touch ID being at the bottom. Unfortunately, with this design, there's no Face ID, but Touch ID is still here and it's on the lock button. It's an 8.3 inch display with four colors. And I've got to say, these new colors, I love them. I really do. So they're space gray, pink, purple. And once again, the new color, my favorite color, Starlight. You might think it's silver, but it's a lighter tone at the top and it gradually gets darker, similar to Space Gray, which I think they should just name Midnight to keep track with their whole um, naming scheme that they have for the iPhones. But it really seems like Apple is starting to venture into the territory of astronomy with these names. I'm not complaining about these colors, but it's really weird when you have Space Gray, Starlight, and then you just have pink and purple, like you should have the space vibe going on. So maybe the pink can be called nebula and then the purple can be called eclipse, something like that. I think that would be pretty cool. So Apple, if you're hiring for, you know, creativity, trust me, I can skyrocket your sales. All right, I'm done with dad jokes because I'm not a father, but you know who is a father? Drake. So the iPad mini now gets the same processor as the iPhone 13 Pro models with that extra GPU core, bringing the total to five. And I'm glad Apple is not handicapping the mini that much by putting in the lower end A15 Bionic chip. So it's nice to see that we have it in there. So that pretty much leaves the entry level iPad 9, I guess, with the A14. But now it's easier to recommend the iPad mini for people just for longevity and the overall design. So another amazing feature that Apple does not showcase enough for their iPads now, and it's something called center stage. See what I did there? Showcase center stage. Anyway, we have an ultra wide camera on the front and this allows Apple to dynamically move the camera and also add and remove subjects when FaceTiming others or in a video call. And this really does make video calls much more, I would say natural as cliche and gimmicky as that sounds. But everyone that I've talked to using um, the center stage on the iPad Pro earlier this year, they loved it. But when I told them the price of the iPad Pro, they were not interested anymore. But seriously, I'm glad to see that um, center stage is making its way into the iPad mini. And I believe, yeah, they're gonna show you a video right here. So as you can see, the subject is still in focus, but do keep in mind that the iPad is not moving at all. So center stage really is amazing technology. So the camera on the back is also improved and I'm not gonna spend much time here because who really takes photo on an iPad, but just know that the camera quality is significantly better than what was on the previous generation significantly better, so that's good. And finally, we have 5G and USB-C. So 5G, great, we all know what 5G is at this point. I'm a little salty on the USB-C, but it's like salty in a good way. And it's because I'm happy that the iPad mini now is with the rest of the world using USB-C. And it makes sense because if you want your iPad mini is supposed to be like your computer, it can somewhat serve as like a dock or can do heavy workload. So it's nice to actually have USB-C to open up for external ports and stuff like that. But I'm upset because I still don't know why this isn't on the iPhone. It's like one of the most widely used products 
from provided by Apple. I'm not saying it's the most widely used product in the world, but it's like Apple just redesigned the internals of the iPhone and the lightning port is still there and I don't know why. So I'm done crying I'm done crying about this topic because it's like whatever at this point, but it's nice that we have USB-C here in the iPad mini. Um, so some other things that should be mentioned here is that the Apple Pencil 2 is also supported here. So it's the one that actually attaches and charges on the side. I think that's pretty good. The case colors that they have this year, I think are also really nice as well. I love how they have starlight in here twice. I just noticed that, but yeah, these are the smart folio cases. The colors, I guess, make the actual product pop a little bit more. So this is the official new lineup of the iPad. So we have the iPad mini, the new iPad, the regular one, the iPad Air and the iPad Pro. So just to say, or just to help you guys a little bit. So the iPad mini now starts at $499. If you want 5G, tack on an extra $150. If you want 256 gigabytes of storage, tack on another $150. It's that simple. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm excited for this iPad mini. Love the new starlight color. Let me scroll up to it again. That color is immaculate. Um, but seriously, starlight, best color by far. If you put starlight as an option on the new MacBooks, I'm telling you that color is going to sell like crazy. Space gray, starlight, or midnight, starlight perfect combination it will sell trust me apple but appreciate every sub like and comment let me know if you guys like the new ipad mini as always guys much love i wonder what my next microphone is going to be probably a paper towel